Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my next series on how to crack a project management uh, exam in first go, uh, both PMP or uh, PRINCE 2. And today we will be discussing the topic, when to practice these questions. Uh, if you see PMP or uh, PRINCE 2 exam, basically these project management exams are uh, mainly uh, multi-choice questions wherein you will be given a question and you will be asked to select either a single or multiple uh, correct answers to these questions and <clears throat> you have to do it in a stipulated time. Now these questions will be direct questions which will happen very rarely. Uh, these questions will be uh, situational based questions wherein you will be asked that, uh, you know, there are certain, this is the uh, project uh, scenario uh, and this is what has happened in the project. These are the constraints, etc. And on basis of that, as a project manager, what you will be doing or what is the correct uh, uh, option which you will be selecting, etc, etc. Like that, these uh, questions will be there. Now, these questions definitely are not that easy as they might see. Uh, they are always twisted and uh, the type of uh, options which uh, 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 the PMI, PMI or Prince2 organization gives are so similar that it is very difficult to choose which one is the correct one. For that, a significant amount of practice is needed and when we should start practicing these questions also matters and we will see why and how. <clears throat> now, when do you practice these questions? First of all, uh, there are many, I will recommend you do it once you have completed all these chapters from PM book um, and uh, why you should do it once you have completed all the chapters of PM book or might be after you know uh, uh, after PM book if you, let's say if you read start reading Rita Mulke or some other book and after one uh, chapter is over if from your second reading you start uh, uh, solving these uh, questions one at a time once again I repeat I will recommend you to read the PM book first all the chapters make the important notes in a notebook. Uh, then uh, you can uh, start practicing questions for one chapter at a time or might be uh, you can do it what I had done. I had started reading, uh, reading Rita Mulke uh, one chapter at a time. And once I finished the Rita Mulke uh, chapter uh, at a, uh, uh, one chapter, I uh, started attempting the questions related to that chapter. Uh, only. Now, why this is important is because if you see this PM book, uh, it has around uh, 10 to 12 um, uh, chapters and uh, each chapter will take at least uh, one to two weeks to uh, uh, complete depending on how good you are at a particular topic. Uh, so when I'm saying one to two weeks, uh, uh, one to two weeks of studying might be two, one or two hours of studying every day. And uh, once you uh, have completed that chapter, if you start attempting the um, questions, there are endless number of questions and uh, there is no uh, you know limit to uh, say that okay now i will have a pause uh, i will stop solving questions related to this chapter and i will pick up the next chapter so uh, what will happen is uh, if this if you start practicing the questions uh, after every chapter it will delay your uh, time to complete all the chapters uh, which are mentioned in the PM book, which are necessary for uh, solving the, uh, you know, attempting the PMP exam. So um, try to, uh, you know, touch the questions or practice the questions only after you have once completed all the chapters which are mentioned in the PM book. It will give you an in-depth understanding of all the, uh, the entire syllabus of the exam and then try to focus again in an agile way only one chapter at a time because what will happen is uh, you will understand uh, to how much uh, you know in depth you have understood uh, that particular chapter now let's say uh, uh, we will target uh, you know 10 questions 
uh, a day because every question i assume will take around 10 5 to 10 minutes uh, first of all 2 to 3 minutes to um, solve the question when you are doing it for the first time that type of question for the first time then uh, after you complete that question you have to uh, go back to pm book and uh, understand which section in the PM work uh, chapter refers to that question and the explanation which is given in the PM work, as well as there will be some explanation which will be given by the uh, you know training institute which uh, uh, from where you have uh, taken the training. So you have to understand how it the question and the correct answer links back to what is mentioned in the PM work. So that linkage, understanding that linkage is very important because why in the exam you might not get the same question in the same words it might be twisted a little bit here or there so you need to understand that linkage bit of the question the correct answer and what is mentioned in the pm box that will take you another five uh, five to ten minutes to understand so if you target 10 questions a day it will uh, be around uh, approximately 10 minutes per question when you're initially starting. So 10 into 10, uh, it becomes 100 minutes. So around one and a half hours, you have to spend uh, understanding the questions. Uh, now spending this 10 minutes per question, approximately five to 10 minutes per question initially is very understand, uh, very important. Uh, if you don't do it, what will happen is you will solve just that one particular question and you will not understand the overall gist or you know how the question is uh, framed and to what it is re referring to etc and the next time when the similar type of question comes with some twist in it you will not be able to solve it so investing this time in one go for a chapter uh, is much better once you have completed all the chapters. That is why I recommend that you have to complete all the chapters first and then touch the, uh, you know, start solving the uh, questions uh, afterwards. And if you do go wrong in the question still, uh, which means that, uh, you know, you have not understood that question or the topic. So then again, you have to invest time in reading that section of the uh, PM book and check your written notes. If you think this is something which is important, which you have missed writing in the written notes, write it down in the written notes, etc. So overall, each question takes around five to 10 minutes uh, of time in the initial uh, first run. Now, uh, once you're finished with uh, the questions of all chapters, you will identify those areas or uh, chapters from PM book where you are, you know, having challenges in solving these questions. Let's say, uh, assume, uh, you know, your training institute gives you a dump of, let's say, 500 or 600 questions. And uh, it might be around, you know, uh, uh, 10 to 12 uh, or might be 15 questions or might be 20 or 30 questions per chapter. So you solve those questions and... Uh, uh, you can make a note of, uh, you know, your score ratings, like uh, whether you are scoring 50%, uh, 60% or might be 70% uh, or something like that. If it is a reasonable score, then no need to, uh, you know, reread the chapter once again. But if you are scoring uh, less in a particular chapter, let's say in my case, I had a lot of issues where as far as identifying risk and issues in the project are concerned, a risk management uh, area. So what I had done is I had reread that chapter once again, revised my uh, written notes, which I had written in my notebook. Um, I saw a few more videos. Uh, I searched on Google for a few blogs. Many people, uh, you know, write blogs and create videos on uh, PMP uh, topics. So go through those videos and those blogs and try to understand that thing once again. And once you have uh, achieved that, you can attempt these questions once again to see what is your success rate. If your success rate improves, it's good. If not, again, revise it and focus on your weak areas again. So this is how you can improve your, uh, you know, uh, percentage uh, of uh, success as far as these questions are concerned. Um, so these are a few tips. Now, uh, sources of questions 
again uh, in rita mulke uh, uh, book you will have a lot of questions other than rita mulke also if you have your office library wherein you have other pmp certification books which are available uh, try to solve those questions as well uh, they also might cover uh, uh, you know few areas which are not covered by pm bob or might be rita mulke and uh, few other questions etc uh, again the question dumps provided by your training institute which provides you this 35 hours of uh, training uh you can google various websites or you know blogs or other things free materials which are available uh, again you can join various linkedin or facebook groups and uh, you know you can see uh, people uh, you know posting questions and asking explanation for you know certain type of question if they have not understood why this particular answer is the correct answer and why this is not the correct answer etc uh, there are few people from various institutes which keep on posting free questions uh, daily in various uh, pmp or prince to certified uh, certification groups so join those groups and uh, utilize these free questions uh, which they post every uh, day and understand uh, you know about explanation they have given the next day about the question and see why people have given uh, different choices and why they feel uh, this is correct or that is correct etc again in these facebook groups and linkedin groups you can browse to the history of the group to uh, find out uh, the old questions which this person or you know set of people have posted and try to go through those historic uh, post and uh, see these uh, questions and try to solve them and uh, you know get as much exposure as you can um okay one more point uh, i had asked you to uninstall uh, all these uh, facebook and linkedin apps uh, in my previous video to improve your productivity and now i am telling you to log in into these apps again and uh, 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 check for you know various sources of questions dumps and other things so uh, what i had done was i had even though i had uh, uninstalled these apps from my mobile still uh, i used to log into my laptop only for study purpose and uh, i used to log in into those websites during my study time only that is how i used to limit the usage of these social media uh, websites and groups only limited to studies in the study time only and access these groups only in study time um, in uh, a particular time frame only that is why I, uh, how i used to limit my access to these social media sites and focus only on studies and make use of the social media sites only for improving my productivity as far as you know preparing for pmp or uh, any other exam is concerned so uh, i want to mention that also in this video which is very important the next topic which we will cover uh, in the next uh, week is uh, exposure to different projects uh and uh, project uh, uh, scenarios um so see you soon thank you